There are so many unknown things in this world that if we ever stopped to think about them, our mind would be almost literally blown. Today, we thought you'd like to see the top 11 mysterious discoveries that science still can't explain. Are you ready to be completely indulged in a trip far, far away? Well, let's go, my brave adventurers. Number one, the Antikythera Mechanism. At least 2,000 old, it's still the most sophisticated device ever found from the period. The next appearance of similar devices was a thousand years later. In fact, works with similar complexity didn't appear again until the development of the mechanical astronomical clocks in Europe in the 14th century. The Antikythera mechanism has not revealed all its secrets yet. Archaeologists now know that it was, at the very least, a highly intricate astronomical calendar. It seems like an artifact of a fantastical movie as it was found in a sunken Greek cargo ship on the island of Anakothera in 1901 and it contains a maze of interlocking gears and mysterious characters etched all over its exposed faces. It's described as the oldest example of an analog computer used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. It could also be used to track the four-year cycle of athletic games, which was similar to the Olympiad, the cycle of the ancient Olympic games. It could follow the movements of the moon and the sun through the zodiac, predict eclipses, and model the irregular orbit of the moon, where the moon's velocity is higher than its perigree than its apogee. It also could calculate positions of the five classical planets, all known fragments of the Antikythera mechanism, are now kept at the National Archaeological Museum in Athens. Number two, the lost city of Atlantis. It's claimed by the Greek islands, Bahamas, Cuba, and even Japan. It is first described by the ancient Greek historian Plato in 360 BC. But without definitive proof, Atlantis continues to engage the popular imagination like few other archaeological mysteries out there. It's believed this mythological island was a great naval power and it sunk into sea under mysterious circumstances or a catastrophic event like an earthquake. Scientists believe that the islands that make up the small circular archipelago of Santorini, roughly 120 miles or 200 kilometers southeast of Greece, are what remain of what once was a single island before one of the largest volcanic eruptions in human antiquity shattered it in the Bronze Age sometime between 1630 B.C. to 1550 B.C. The volcanic explosion that might have inspired the legend of Atlantis apparently triggered a tsunami that traveled hundreds of miles to reach as far as present-day Israel, scientists now suggest. Well, you starting to warm up? Well, you better be because we're going even deeper. How deep? Well, you'll just have to wait and see, my friends. Number three, the creation of the universe. This is one of the mysteries that scientists have not explained. They have the Big Bang Theory, of course, but this giant explosion hurled matter in all directions and caused space itself to expand. 13.8 billions of years ago, leading to the creation of stars, galaxies, planets, and everything else that exists. Our universe began with an explosion of space itself, the Big Bang. Starting from extremely high density and temperature, space expanded, the universe cooled, and the simplest of elements formed. Gravity gradually drew matter together to form the first stars and first galaxies. Countless questions about where and when, which seem meaningless because for when, before there was no time to count, and where, there was no space, and the origins of our universe remain unanswered. Number four, the Atacama Desert Mummy. A small mummy was found in the Atacama Desert in Chile 20 years ago. And by saying small, I mean the skeleton was only 15 centimeters long and has an unusually elongated skull that would suggest an alien origin. The DNA analysis, though, revealed this was indeed a skull and skeleton of a human. Scientists still can't explain the unique anomaly because other than size, the skeleton had 10 ribs instead of the usual 12, giant eye sockets, and a long skull that ended in a point. Atta, as the remains came to be known, was found by an amateur collector who was exploring a ghost town, and it was wrapped in a white cloth in a leather pouch. DNA analysis showed that she had a mutation in genes related to bone development that caused a hereditary disorder never before documented in humans. Number five, 
dark energy, and dark matter. If we want to explain the difference in short, dark matter slows down the expansion of the universe, while dark energy speeds it up. Roughly 68% of the universe's total mass and energy is dark energy. It's by far the more dominant force of the two. Dark matter makes up 27%, and the rest only 5%. It's all the regular matter we see and interact with every day. In the 1930s, a Swiss astronomer spotted something funny about the behavior of thousand galaxies that make up the coma cluster. They move so fast they should simply fly apart. He speculated some kind of dark matter held them together. In the late 1990s, however, when two teams of astronomers spotted something that didn't make any sense, researchers studying supernovas in the most distant galaxies discovered that distant galaxies were moving away from us faster than nearby galaxies. The universe wasn't just expanding, the expansion was speeding up. Dark energy can be described, but scientists are far from knowing what it is and so-so for dark matter. There are forces that have never actually been seen and are roughly explained by the relativity theory, even though Einstein didn't know about them. Well, here we are at the middle of the video, and it's the best time to remind you that by liking this video and subscribing to the channel with your notifications on, you support us to make even more amazing top tens, and you also have the chance to see them first. So come on, hit those buttons, make us smile. You know you want to. Number six, cat purring. The sheer pleasure of a cat that purrs in the owner's arm still causes debate between scientists. It was only recently that experts suggested an alternate constriction and relaxation of the muscles around the cat's larynx is what makes the noise when the cat breathes in and out. We still don't know why, though. They purr when they're in pain also, not only when they're relaxed and happy. Mother and kittens purr to reassure a bond with each other. Well, lately, a U.S.-based veterinarian has suggested that the frequency of a purr is beneficial to helping bones grow and develop as well. They're of similar frequency to those used in modern therapy to help heal damaged bones and other tissues. So help to soothe and heal when a cat is ill or injured. It's just a theory, but wouldn't it be marvelous if our kitties had that power? Number seven, how a tomato came to have more genes than a human. You know, tomatoes and humans look very different, but still a tomato is more complex than a person. The thing we share in common is genes, and it takes around 7,000 more genes to make one tomato, about 30,000 in total, than it does a human. Recently, scientists found out that around 70 million years ago, when the family the tomato belongs to tripled its number of genes, also known as its genome, meaning each gene had three copies. As time progressed, the extra genes, which served no purpose, disappeared. But those that were useful remain, leading to the high number of genes in a tomato today. How did the tomato manage to triple its genes remains a mystery and dates back to the era when dinosaurs vanished. Humans, on the other hand, are more efficient with fewer genes. A technique called alternative splicing means one gene can produce different things. Number eight, is glass a liquid? Well, glass is actually neither a liquid or a solid. It's an amorphous solid, a state somewhere between the two states of matter. Glass atoms do move, but very slowly for change to be seen. Saying that though, in medieval European cathedrals, the glass sometimes looks odd. Some panes are thicker at the bottom than the top. The seemingly solid glass appears to have melted. Other ancient glass structures like Egyptian vessels are far older. They don't have this transformation. So the reason that medieval glass seems to be melted is on the way the glass is made. At the time, glass blowers created glass cylinders that were then flattened to make panes of glass. The resulting pieces may never have been uniformly flat, and workers installing the windows preferred, for one reason or another, to put the thicker sides of the pane at the bottom, which gives them a melted look. But it doesn't mean glass is a true liquid. Well, we've made it to the top three. Are you ready to see if we kept the best for last? Spoiler alert, we did. Number nine is life on Mars. On July 20th, 1976, on Mars, the Viking lander scooped up soil and mixed it with carbon-14 labeled nutrients. The scientists on this mission agreed that if the instruments detect emissions of carbon-14 containing methane from the soil, 
then there must be life on Mars. And they got a positive result. Something on Mars is ingesting nutrients, metabolizing them, and then belching out radioactive methane. But another instrument found nothing. It was designed to identify organic molecules that mean there are signs of life. So they believed the findings were false. But were they? Lately, the results of researchers show that soil on Mars was wet in the past and was hospitable to life. And on top of that, a cell biologist suggests that the emissions show evidence of a circadian cycle that certainly is evidence of life. Will we know in the next mission? Number 10, why people yawn. People give all sorts of explanations about why people yawn, and you've probably heard most, lack of oxygen, mimicking someone else, and of course, the main one being that you're sleepy or bored. But weirdly enough, scientists actually do know why people yawn. It's true. The more recent news tells us that the scientific community is now moving towards the idea that yawning is a thermoregulatory behavior that cools down the brain, but its true biological function still unclear. Number 11, humpback whales, introverts or extroverts. And for now, the weirdest fact you're gonna hear today, what we knew about humpback whales is they were solitary creatures. A couple of years ago though, suddenly the humpback whale began feeding in packs from 20 up to 200. Scientists have no clue how this change came and how could this introvert creature change its behavior so much to turn into a party animal? Well, there you have it for today. These were the top 11 most mysterious discoveries from around the world that science still can't explain. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one was your absolute favorite and why? Let us know in the comments. And as always, don't forget, hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We'll see you next time.